Both executives at News International, both with close ties to the Prime Minister, and now both Rebecca Brooks and Andy Coulson have again discovered they will be charged. Arriving at a police station in South London, Andy Coulson let it be known that he was extremely disappointed and denied these latest allegations. The charges relate to Andy Coulson's time as editor of News of the World, along with former royal correspondent Clive Goodman. They're charged with allegedly making payments to public officials for information, including a phone directory containing numbers for the royal family, known as the Green Book. Rebecca Brooks and The Sun's chief reporter John Kay are charged along with MOD employee Bettina Jordan-Barber with misconduct in public office that involved payments for information. Specifically, that they gave her £100,000 for stories that appeared in the paper. David Cameron was in Belfast, but he still couldn't escape the questions. Prime Minister, do you now accept that hiring Andy Coulson was a blunder? He did, after all, choose Mr Coulson as his Director of Communications, and texts between him and Mrs Brooks revealed how close they were. Well, I've made it clear a regret on many occasions about this issue. I've also said very clearly uh, that we should allow the police and the prosecuting authorities to follow the evidence wherever it leads, and I think that's very, very important. It is now a hugely complex legal web involving the alleged hacking of phones, charges of conspiracy to pervert the course of justice faced by Mrs Brooks and her husband, and now possible payments to public officials. This will examine the way that its alleged reporters here at News International worked. The charges will focus on claims that some journalists paid for their exclusive information, and what's more, that their bosses knew all about it. Those like Andy Coulson charged with misconduct in public office could face a life sentence. In reality though, if found guilty, most receive around 18 months. Juliet Bremner, ITV News.